Good evening, everyone. Ah, good. We are delighted to have you here tonight. Um, I'm Merlin Yap, the Dean of the School of Church Music, and I welcome you to tonight's concert. The concert tonight is by Canticorum. That's our community choir, and anchoring the Canticorum is the SBC Choral, our music students. Now, since its founding, Canticorum uh, has been performing Western choral works. But over the years, as we've been traveling to different countries, we realize we, we start wondering, why are we just singing Western choral works when there are so many beautiful music that should be representing the body of Christ from throughout the world? Asia by itself has produced fantastic works. And so starting from next semester, we would like to expand our repertoire to include global choral works, and that would include the different kinds of uh, choral settings that includes the small and large ensemble. So tonight will be the last concert of Canticorum. And then by next semester, you will hear a new group called, A, eh? not yet, Josh. You will hear a new group called Vox, Voice of Christ, good, okay? So when you see the Vox concert on October next year, come. Uh, okay, before we proceed with the concert, I have some announcements. Number one, next slide. Please scan this QR code for tonight's program. Now included in the program are two scores for you to use later when we have congregational singing, yeah? Let me let you scan first. Okay. Good. Now, in the past 40 years, the School of Church Music uh, has sent hundreds of students to different parts of the world, especially around Asia, for ministry, serving uh, and promoting music and worship. Now, over the past 10 years, the Lord has been opening the doors for the faculty to travel to quite a number of countries uh, that's shown up there, uh, providing church music and worship training, modeling what biblical worship services and what biblical music ministries can be, helping with seminaries, uh, parachurch organizations and churches, as well as mentoring key music and worship leaders in Asia. We go there as well to these countries to support our alumni in their ministries. Uh, in the coming years, you will see the number of logos growing as the Lord keeps opening the doors for us to go to different countries. Now, by God's grace, we have been able to serve because of the support of many Christians. And if the Lord should prompt you to be a part of this ministry by supporting us financially, please scan that QR code. Now, what we really pray for too is that if you can join us in praying for our ministries, Many of the countries we go to are fast closing their doors to missionaries and to Christians. But we are entering, the Lord is calling us to enter those countries. So that means uh, we need, we really covet your prayers for protection, but also wisdom, yeah? Um, Next, to help you enjoy tonight's concert, we encourage you to do a few things. Number one, why don't you turn your phone to silent mode? That way you will not be disturbed, you know? And it will not disturb others as well. And then, some people like to do video recording because they said, the music is so good, we want to listen to it after the concert. Well, I have good news for you. We will send you a good video recording of the concert. Okay, it will happen like a few weeks later, but we will send it to you. So, don't need to video, 
you can just enjoy the concert, okay? Uh, there will be two congregational songs that we will invite you to sing with us. Please sing out loud, okay? Uh, and finally, please hold your applause until after the benediction. Now, let me help prepare you for tonight's concert. The concert tonight is called Delight. Okay, I want you to think of something that you delight in or someone you delight in. Do you see their faces? Do you see that? The smile and the twinkle of their eyes. Good, good, good. Now, I want you, I will say one, two, three, and after three, I want you to express the delight with your face and with your voice and with your body. Okay, choir included. Okay, okay. One, two, three. Good. Good. Now, that's what we hope you will have somewhere in the middle of the concert and really even after the concert. Why will you delight? Because we are going to delight in the Lord, in his works, and in his word. Yeah? And so tonight's songs will really be about that, to remind us about the Lord, his word, and his works. So in order to prepare us for tonight's concert, I'd like to invite Dr. Virginia Chai, our resident composer, uh, to lead us in prayer. Our Father in heaven, we thank you so much for gathering us here. We thank you, Lord, for the freedom to gather. We thank you, Lord, for the freedom to sing so, Lord, as we gather to sing in heart, in word, in song, we pray that you will be our only delight. And, Lord, we pray that you will delight in the sound, in the voices of song and hearts. And may you alone be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. We welcome you once again to, our, to another evening of choral and instrumental music. Tonight, we shall present two cantatas. You might have heard the word cantata and might even present it in your church. Yeah, when you hear the word cantata, okay, you know that it's a it's a production sometimes now nowadays especially the twit, the, the present current uh, day cantata okay let me give you some uh, information what is what is a cantata from the italian word cantare our name is canticorum which means to sing originally a cantata is a musical composition intended to be sung as opposed to a sonata from the word sonare, which is something to be, to, be, to be sounded or to play in an instrument, right? So, tonight is a cantata. So you have two cantatas. And within that cantatas, there are actually a lot of movements. There are even arias. There are, uh, there are even sonatas in between those, those songs. Nowadays, the term cantata is loosely used to describe any work for voices and instruments, such as the modern Christmas and Easter cantata. Some of us have been doing that in our churches. And um, sometimes we label it a Christmas cantata or Easter cantata, or sometimes we call it Easter musical. Most cantatas last an hour. That's in the current day cantatas. But during the Baroque era, even a three-minute cantata is a cantata. Okay, tonight's cantata one, um, it's, it's only 10 minutes, okay? There are two cantatas, so they're 20 minutes, okay? So, most of the cantatas during the Baroque time, they were really short. Even the cantatas of Bach, they're not long. They were really short, why? Because it meant to be a devotion, yes? Especially the church cantata. It's there for you to meditate on the word 
and that in between there are actually some instrumental music for you to ref for for a reflection and there's even a moment for the congregation to sing tonight is not a classical music performance it is a musical devotion after my introduction we shall listen to an instrumental prelude in the form of a baroque concerto now if you were here last year i talked about a concerto okay a concerto for the word concertare which is to 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 fight and you will hear the violins uh, as if they're fighting with each other that's that's to contend but we also explained last year maybe the word concerto came from the word not concertare but concerere which means to join together which is that's why you have the word consortium so sometimes we believe maybe it's not really to fight them, but to join together as one. Yeah? Even when they, they seem like fighting to each other, no, actually they are joining one another, right? So that is our concerto. It's in the form of a prelude. And last year we also explained to you, prelude is not an instrumental music to wait for the late comers in the church. Okay? Okay? Yeah. Although the word prelude means the first play, re lauda. Preludere, the first play. But we probably say prelude is the first praise. That's why it's called pre lauda. So that when you hear the instrumental music, your intention is to prepare your hearts. Okay? Whether it's happy or a solemn one. So, after the, the concerto, as our prelude, it is followed by a German hymn or a chorale by J.S. Bach, and you know this, Jesu, joy of man's desiring. Then a pastoral devotion based on the song musician's prayer will follow. Okay? Then comes the cantata by Dietrich Buxtehude, who is the teacher of J.S. Bach, Alles was ihr tut, whatever you do. Yeah, the title is the opening phrase of the Bible verse, Alles was ihr tut mit Worten oder Werken, Whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. And you will notice that in between these songs, there are some instrumental parts. We call it sonatas. These are meant to be a moment of reflection. If you read your Psalms, sometimes you, you encounter the word selah. Yeah? Because the, in the Psalms, selah means a, a, an instrumental reflection. So I, in between songs, there are selah in the form of a sonata. Okay? So, after the German cantata, found, it will be followed by another pastoral devotion, then followed by a Latin cantata based on Psalm 112, written by an Italian Renaissance composer, Claudio Monteverdi, Beatus Vir Quitimet Domino. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord. We shall end the musical offering with a congregational hymn, again, arranged by J.S. Bach. You know it, the doxology, but otherwise known as all people on earth do dwell. Okay, the popular melody, the old hundreds. Let me end my lecture with one of the verses of Buxtehude's cantata. It says, encourage one another in our playing, exalting, and singing. Lift hearts heavenward, rejoice which can rejoice. Let all instruments ring out. In all duty, all our ways, be directed to thy praise.
Music is an art of time that needs a vessel to amplify the sound that forms beautiful rhythm, beautiful melodies, and beautiful harmonies, which then resonates in the hearts and minds of God's creations. So, we, the musicians, are God's instrument. 我们是音乐人，我们都是上帝发声的器皿。To bring His good news to the people, and to show His glory to the people through the songs that we sing. You've given me the words, Lord, and the music, a song of life that's new and unrehearsed. You've given me the joy that makes my heart sing, though there are times. The tears come first. Do you know it is very hard to sing when you cry?、Uh, I'm a living proof of that. Whenever I cry, I couldn't sing at all. Medieval composer Guillaume de Machaut also agreed, which he said this: "Music is an art." Which likes people to laugh and sing and dance, but it cares nothing for the melancholy, nor for a man who sorrows over what is of no importance. But it knows instead such folk. It brings joy everywhere it presents. It comforts the disconsolate, and just hearing the music makes people rejoice. Brothers and sisters, do you know who is even better in doing what music did? The Lord who created music. You've taken all my yesterdays of discord, a clash of symbols of meaningless and vain. Transposing all the noise into a love song that floods my soul with its refrain. I once was a kid, a very timid kid, who felt utmost comfortable, very comfortable, hiding under the shadows of the people I admire and I love. My colleagues here are the one that I very comfortable hiding from. I thought I could enjoy this shade as long as I can, as long as I would live. But no, God has different plans. I was pulled out of my comfort zone into the opposite end of the world. Whereas I, where I was estranged from the culture, from the loved ones that I love, and from the resources that I relied on so much. When I was there in the estranged land, I was lost. My life was in discord, and music seemed, although it's my major, but music seemed. Just like a clash of symbols, meaningless and in vain. You've taken all the gifts I once thought mine, Lord, and changed the composition of their words, reclaiming what was yours from the beginning. 
returning them, transfigured by rebirth. Sometimes God took it away. It's to leave space for something even better. Today, I should be singing that song for you, but God took my singing voice away. Why? Because there's something better He's putting in. God snatched it away to remind me that there are more important things in life for me to focus on. The gift of music is given to us from Him, by Him, and through Him. So brothers and sisters, stop clenching to what we have, like clenching to the music. Because if the music is being clenched, there's no modulation, no development, no variation. Music is just beeps, boring beeps of noise. So brothers and sisters, can I borrow your hand? Both of your hands. Borrow both of your hands. And then put it like in front of your heart. What we can do, we cannot clench, but now we surrender all to God. Do it with me. Surrender all to God. We surrender to God, for He is the one that will give us a theme that is even better and a symphony of praise that is even more beautiful that will bring glory even more glory to God thank you you've given me the theme of my existence and I will sing your glory all my days for now Lord and for And make my life a symphony of pain. So now, because I cannot sing, you will be my choir tonight. <laughs> Let's join together and join me in pray and sing together to be the maker of music to make our lives a symphony of praise. Let's sing together. You've given the words Lord, and the music a song of life that's new and unreversed you've given me the joy that makes my heart sing though there are times the tears come from the 
we pray.
let us read the scripture together. Oh, sorry, it's in Chinese. Let me read it for you. <laughs> and whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. 无论做什么。或说话，或行事，都要奉主耶稣的名，借着他感谢父神。Repeat after me. It's for the Lord. And then you need to look at your neighbor's eyes very earnestly. It's for the Lord. There's a catch to it. This is a familiar phrase which unintentionally becomes a cliche for Christians over time. Agree? And without much thought, we would just stop at doing. 有做就好 Then command ourselves just by putting minimal effort to it. Yes, I did do it. I did do it. But the passage has a second part to it. Do it all. In the name of Jesus. So, in other words, what we did, what we do, would be accountable under Jesus' name rather than our own. The recognitions, the successes, the affirmations, are all His. But there's a turning point. Yet Jesus is also the one. That bears our failures, bears our incompetency, bears, most importantly, our sins. Okay, repeat after me this next phrase: "Glorify Thy name." Now look to the other neighbor. Glorify Thy name. Another common phrase, yes, is it another common phrase? But have you thought about how we really glorify our God's name? So, in the context today, it's a concert,、uh, it's a lecture concert. So, in the context of music and worship, the key word will be this: beauty. Repeat after me. Beauty. You need to read it beautifully. Beauty. And let's learn the Chinese way of、uh, speak, saying it. May、uh, no, the intonation is may. Yeah, one more time. Go. May. Yes, that is may. Okay,、uh, Makoto Fujimura, an LA-based Japanese artist and theologian, gave us this、uh, very, very good、uh, definition of beauty. Beauty is the quality that connected. Beauty is the quality that connected with those things are in themselves appealing and desirable. Beautiful things are a delight to the senses, a pleasure to the mind, and a refreshment to the spirit. Beauty. This is what I like about this quote: "Beauty invites us in, capturing our attention, like what the choir and the orchestra has did, and making us want to linger here even more, to hear more, to experience more, to see more. That is beauty. So, with that context, how do we glorify God's name through music and the arts?" Easy, very easy to say. It is to present our craft and art in a way that would draw people in, to bring glory to the Lord. You might ask, "In that the case, if that's the case, are flaws and imperfections allowed on stage?" Wow. From experience,、uh, I'm not no longer young. I have some experience on stage. I would say a big yes. 
flaws and imperfections are allowed on stage. Some, you'll be surprised. Sometimes it's the unplanned flaws and imperfections that draws people in closer, not to yourself, not to me, but closer to God. And also remember, when we present our craft, present our worship, we are not alone. Jesus is the one who already bears the burden for us. When you sing the song, when you draw, you, when you make art, when you recite beauty, you don't have to do it alone. We do it in the name of Jesus. We do it in Him. And within Him, what do we have? Grace. We do the 所献上的一切，不必我们自己一个人去做去成就。我们做的这一切，皆都在恩典里面。So let every detail in your lives, words, actions, whatever be, be done in the name of the Master Jesus, thanking God the Father every step of the way. May the beauty lingers in you and draws people near to the Lord.
Let us pray. Dear Lord, may the frequencies of the music that vibrates in this worship hall, may the message that resonated in our hearts today, and may the love and care we show through the hymns, psalms, and spiritual songs continue, continue to inspire us to walk with you. Dear Lord, delight in us, Lord just as we find delight in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And now let us give glory to you. Please be seated. We would like to thank you for coming to the concert tonight. I hope that you will find delight in this concert, and I hope that you continue to find delight in the Lord as well, and continue to glorify Him uh, in, a, in no matter ways that we can, in whatever ways that we can. And have a good rest and good night.